What is going on, Jerome's? The Minnesota Fighting Vikings, just right like the rest of the National Football League, are in the middle of their well-earned summer vacation. Uh, but in a couple short weeks, they'll be back at a TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill. I uh, ready to hoist at Jerome Barty for the first time of 12 times in the next 10 seasons. Uh, but wanted to do another update of how the Vikings are spending their summer vacation. And not going to lie, it, it is not too dissimilar from uh, a lot of us mere mortals, us uh, mere peasants, us plebeians, etc. So, uh, Amir Smith-Marset, who, uh, Amir Smith-Marset, like I said, is quickly becoming one of my favorite Vikings. So he's enjoying the seafood, getting after it, some crab legs. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Where if you've ever been to a buffet that serves crab legs, you will notice that there are always a lot of Asians just go in there. And they'll, they'll be at the buffet for four hours, right? Because they'll be like, dim, 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 dim. Uh, they'll be just scouting out the, the crab legs. Like they'll, they'll come up and peek. Crab legs ready? No, not, not so much, and they'll get after them. We will definitely get our value uh, for the buffet and the crab legs. It, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then you got a tattoo, which which is very popular. I mean, a, a Ron Rogers out there getting some ink, but Amir Smith Marset uh, getting a six for six tattoo. Real ones know the meaning of this. So now. There's a couple ways to look at this. The obvious one would be Amir War number six at Iowa. Uh, he's going for a touchdown, which is six. Six for six, it makes sense. Or or he's starting a new media company, which is 20% of 30 for 30. So six for six, nailed it. Love it. Uh, next, so Zadarius Smith. Uh, Zadarius Smith is also quickly becoming a social media superstar for the Vikings. I mean, Zadarius getting after it. He hasn't even played a down in purple yet, and he's already a, a team favorite. But Zadarius, so 4th of July, there's this anomaly where people take pictures of fireworks. And it, it's such a weird thing because fireworks are something that need to be enjoyed in the moment. Same thing with concerts too, but that's a whole nother rabbit hole. But when when you take pictures or video of fireworks, like do you ever really watch them again? Like, like I'm not talking about HD, 4K, 8K, like high, high definition video of like a really cool show where you know they, they launch fireworks and then it turns into shapes of cowboy hats and whatnot. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, no. All right. So, but Zadarius is a fireworks photo taker. Also, uh, apparently there, there there is no JPP incidents uh, for anyone involved with the team during the Fourth of July, which makes a lot of sense. There you go. Also, uh, Zadarius be been getting after it, man. Like, like Zadarius is probably in the best shape of, of his life. He, he's absolutely uh, ready to rock and roll after uh, his injury. Uh, plague 2021 uh, and for that we thank you uh, again if daniel and zadaris can stay healthy for the full season i think they'll be the best edge rushing tandem in the league so zadaris it's a bit of a thirst trap man kind of like it good times then uh you got blake pearl so a adam jerome ezekiel Thielen has befriended uh young blake pearl sort of like a mentor mentee role and, and blake pearl is trying to blake blake pearl taking on that role yo uh and then he he's trying to emulate the 2013 UDFA Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen, where he ascended, uh, he he made the so he made the 90 man roster as a UDFA tryout. Thielen did, and then he made the practice squad, and then he became wide receiver five six, and then he worked his way up uh, to becoming one of the best red zone wide receivers in the game, uh, one of the best Vikings uh, receivers uh, in team history. So uh, you do love like Blake Pearl. Beyond his beautiful singing career, I, Adam Thielen probably can't carry a, a, a tune if he had a, a wheelbarrow, but Blake Pearl can sing, man. Like, like, he's really good. But, yeah, uh, some homage to the young savage. Look at how young Adam Thielen looked, man. Like, fresh out of Mankato State University Community College. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Back in the day. Back in the day. And then on the right, block A uh, is Texans linebacker Blake Cashman. Cashman outside. How about that? Former Golden Gopher, the pride of Eden Prairie. Uh, so, getting together with CJ Ham for some offseason work, a bunch of guys together. You love to see that. Uh, CJ running some roots uh, against Cashman, working on his coverage game. My guy really is a Swiss Army knife. And you know, the, the whole meme about, hey, you know, CJ Ham on, on third and nine getting a two-yard dump off. I mean, yeah, that was legit last season. But, I mean, CJ I mean, C, CJ was a bad-ass tailback uh, at Augustana uh, in college. Uh, so I, I think that his 
I think that his skill set can be integrated uh, very nicely into the Rams offense. But like the Rams, uh, or yeah, Kevin O'Connell's Rams offense, where uh, Kevin O'Connell last year uh, with, with Sean McVay, like they didn't really use a fullback. They didn't really they didn't have one on the roster because well, they didn't really have one. But now at your disposal, you have one of the best fullbacks in the league, if not the best, uh, one who can run the ball, one who can catch the ball, uh, as well as uh, is a hell of a blocker. So why wouldn't you utilize him? All right, so I, I'm optimistic about C.J. Ham's usage uh, this year. And then K.J. Osborne. K, K.J.'s my guy, man. So uh, he, he's working. Matt Car- Carl, Panthers rookie, down in the heat, getting it. Fast feet do eat. Slow feet don't eat. I love it. I, I love it. I, I think KJ is really going to surprise a lot of people uh, in year three because he, he already had the mini breakout season last year. I think KJ might be flirting with a thousand yard season, especially the way that the Vikings offense is going to open up this year. Justin Jefferson is going to get so much attention. And I think that KJ is going to get a lot of work, man. I, I really do. And, and lastly, speaking of a lot of work. So uh, Thielen's wife p- uh, posted this uh, of Thielen's new m- m- mustache. M- mustachio i don't know man i don't know like it, it's great and, and it does give off some serious jared allen vibes but i don't know i don't know but i say anything that gives us good luck you go ahead man like we, we can grow our dirty ass facial hair uh again l- like we had a couple years ago I, I mean if that brings us luck confucius say do it go ahead but Eh, I, I don't know. Like, like, this sort of looks like uh, if he was an extra on Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, just, just hey, uh, he, he'll be listed on IMDb as Mustache Guy 1. So, th- there you go. But that's it. That's what uh, some Minnesota Fighting Vikings have been up to uh, during summer vacation. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.